15 bizarre facts about America you wouldn't believe are true. Think you know everything there is to know about America? Then you're smarter than the average person. It turns out the large percentage of native-born United States citizens can correctly answer simple questions on the official US citizenship test. But beyond the basics, there are a few crazy facts about America that most people never heard before. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos. Ahead, beef up your trivia knowledge and get ready for 15 facts about the USA that will blow your mind. Number 1. There is no official language in the United States. Welcome to the melting pot, where most people speak English, a huge portion of people speak Spanish, and if you speak just about any other language, you're bound to find a community of folks who share the same form of communication. Although the United States does not have an official language, the most commonly used language is English, specifically American English, which is the de facto national language. Many other languages are spoken in the United States, especially Spanish. These include indigenous languages, languages brought to the country by colonists, enslaved people and immigrants from Europe, Africa, and Asia. There are also several languages, including Creoles and sign languages, that developed in the United States. Approximately 430 languages are spoken or signed by the population, of which 176 are indigenous to the area. 52 languages formerly spoken in the country's territory are now extinct. Number 2. One in eight people in the United States has been employed by McDonald's. McDonald's Corporation is an American fast food company founded in 1940 as a restaurant operated by Richard and Maurice McDonald in San Bernardino, California, US. They rechristened their business as a hamburger stand and later turned the company into a franchise with the Gold Artist logo being introduced in 1953 at the location in Phoenix, Arizona. McDonald's may not be the biggest fast food chain in the world, but they certainly are the most popular. Perhaps that's why everyone from high school kids to working parents and retirees has donned the uniform and flipped burgers. According to two reports published in 2018, McDonald's is the world's second largest private employer with 1.7 million employees, behind Walmart with 2.3 million employees. As of 2020, McDonald's has the ninth highest global brand valuation. Number 3. Russia sold Alaska to the United States for 2 cents per acre. Alaska is a US state on the northeast extremity of the country's west coast. A semi-exclave of the US, it borders the Canadian province of British Columbia and territory of Yukon to the east, and has a maritime border with Russia's Chukotka Autonomous Okrug to the west, just across the Bering Strait. Talk about the bargain buy. The largest state in the nation by far is Alaska, and it came cheap at just $7.2 million total. In just 50 years following the purchase, America made their money back more than 100 times over. The Russians probably didn't know about the gold, right? Number 4. Arizona and Hawaii don't observe daylight savings time. Arizona, a southwest US state, is best known for the Grand Canyon the mild deep chasm carved by the Colorado River. Flagstaff, a ponderosa pine-covered mountain town, is a major gateway to the Grand Canyon. Other natural sites include Saguaro National Park, protecting cactus fields Sonoran Desert Landscape. Hawaii is a U.S. state located in the Pacific Ocean. It is the only state outside North America, the only island state, and the only state in the tropics. Hawaii is also one of the few U.S. states to have once been an independent nation. Many people believe that daylight savings time, which is the practice of advancing clocks during warmer months so that darkness falls at a later clock time, was implemented for farmers, but that's not true. In fact, most farmers are against it. The practice started during World War I in the German Empire, and despite all the opposition, most of the country follows it except Arizona and Hawaii. Number 5. Cows outnumber humans 3 to 1 in Montana. Montana is a western state defined by its diverse terrain, ranging from Rocky Mountains to the Great Plains. Its wide open spaces include Glacier National Park, a vast wilderness preserve that passes into Canada. 
The park's many snow-capped peaks, lakes and alpine hiking trails are showcased along its famed Going to the Sun Road, stretching 50 miles. It's a good thing cows don't want to stage a mutiny against people, because in Montana, they'd probably win. The number one industry in this state is agriculture, and livestock accounts for two-thirds of it. There are approximately 2.6 million cattle in Montana, and just over 1 million humans residing there. Number 6. Other countries think it's weird that college sports are so popular. College Sports America is an innovative sports scholarship agency, specialized in assisting young athletes from around the world obtain a sports scholarship at one of the 3,000 colleges and universities that the company works with. Europeans cannot fathom the popularity of March Madness. America is the only country that celebrates college sports and elevates their players to elite status. It's a little strange when you think about it. Technically, college athletes are just then doing extracurricular activities. Number 7. In the US, 40% of babies are born to unmarried women. It wasn't always this way, but for the eighth year in a row, a whooping 40% of all babies were born to unwed mothers. That's in stark contrast to 1940, when just 3.8% of babies had unmarried parents. That number didn't hit 10% until 1969. Number 8. One in three Americans is obese. Obesity isn't just a cosmetic concern. It is a medical problem that increases your risk of other diseases and health problems, such as heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and certain cancers. Ask 50 different people what caused the obesity pandemic, and you'll get 50 different answers. Still, the fact remains that one in three Americans qualifies as obese, according to BMI chart. Associated illnesses cost the nation $315 billion in healthcare expenses, and it keeps getting worse and more expensive every year. Number 9. It's legal for children to smoke. About 4 out of 10 US children aged 3 to 11 years old, that is 40.6%, are exposed to secondhand smoke. In the US, the percentage of children and teens living with at least one smoker is about three times the percentage of non-smoking adults who live with a smoker. This one just seems like a huge oversight. Despite the incredible health risk and addictive nature of cigarettes, it is legal for children under 18 to light up and smoke a cigarette, except in Nevada. It's just illegal for them to purchase the cigarettes. Number 10. Most presidents were born in Virginia. Virginia, a southeastern U.S. state, stretches from the Chesapeake Bay to the Appalachian Mountains with a long Atlantic coastline. It's one of the 13 original colonies with historic landmarks including Monticello, founding Father Thomas Jefferson's iconic Charlottesville Plantation. Maybe it's because of its close proximity to the nation's capital. Whatever the reason, eight U.S. presidents were born in Virginia, including four of the first five. They were George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, William Henry Harrison, John Tyler, Zachary Taylor, and Woodrow Wilson. Number 11. If you have a $10 bill and no debt, you are wealthier than 15% of all American citizens. The American way is to borrow money to buy things you do not have. Student loan debt, credit card debt, medical debt, mortgages, Car loans, it all adds up, and the Federal Reserve found that a huge portion of the population has negative net value. Number 12. Most Americans spend 4.4 years at each job. No wonder most people can stick to one page resumes. American employees are likely to leave their companies in search of higher salaries and better benefits rather than sticking to it for the long haul. The average baby boomer holds 10 jobs between the ages of 18 and 42. Number 13. More people live in New York City than in 40 out of 50 states. New York City comprises five boroughs, sitting where the Hudson River meets the Atlantic Ocean. At its core is Manhattan, a densely populated borough that's among the world's major commercial, financial, and cultural centers. Its iconic sites include skyscrapers, such as the Empire State Building and the sprawling Central Park. Broadway Theatre is staged in neon-lit Times Square. Wrap your head around this for a minute. 
New York City may be geographically tiny, but it's home to 8.5 million people and still growing. That's more bodies crammed into one location than the whole white countryside including 40 other states. Number 14. Kansas produces enough wheat in one year to feed everyone in the world for two weeks. Kansas is a state in the center of the United States. Its capital is Topeka and its largest city is Wichita. Kansas is bordered by Nebraska to the north, Missouri to the east, Oklahoma to the south, and Colorado to the west. If there was a logical way to transport and distribute all the wheat in Kansas around the world, then no one would go hungry for two weeks, except everyone who avoids gluten. It's all just proof of how important farmers are and how big Kansas is. Number 15. There are around 5,000 commercial airplanes flying over the US at any given time. Look up in the sky for long enough and you are bound to see an airplane whizzing by. Air traffic controllers have their work cut out for them because an astounding 5,000 planes are usually flying at the same time. Still, air travel is one of the statistically safest and fastest ways to get from place to place. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to subscribe, hit that like button, share with your friends, and turn on post notifications so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos.